The Minnesota Lynx are in the middle of another playoff run trying to win their fourth WNBA championship. They're playing their games at Williams Arena due to renovations at Target Center and the Wild getting ready for their season over at the X. Now because the 90 year old arena doesn't have air conditioning it forced the team to install a unique system that meets WNBA standards. Looks like an octopus. John Lorison shows us how it was put together and what it's doing for fans and players inside the barn. I have a little anxiety, but I always do before games. Thank you. Go Lynx. Lynx fans have playoff basketball on their minds. Oh, that's that's an MVP move right there. But as they left the heat and humidity outside and walked into the cool comforts inside, they passed by an organized mess of tangled tubing. It's huge. It looks like a big spider or something, doesn't it? We've heard that it called a, a spaghetti mess, a giant octopus. Scott Werner is fine with any of those nicknames. He's the service center manager for Agreco, the company that built this giant air conditioner that was required after the WNBA learned the Lynx would be playing at Williams Arena. Our goal, obviously, with the WNBA and ourselves is to get it somewhere between 61 and 71. Those are the ideal playing conditions for our players. The Lynx contacted Agreco in July. They immediately flew in engineers and materials from across the country. In my time with Agreco, this is the coolest project we've done. Some crews work 12 hours a day to install the system. They put eight blue chillers into a tight space. Those chillers feed into more than a dozen air handlers. 220 pieces of white flax ducting keeps it all together. It's an AC system designed to keep the links cool so they can stay hot. Perkins. That'll work. That's the three. The temperature right now, I believe, is about 65 degrees inside. Uh, last week we had it running about 59 degrees, but we actually got some feedback that it was a little bit cold. The Lynx spent a total of a million dollars to have this all installed and they'll have it all taken down again after the playoffs are over. To put this in perspective, the white ducting you see took six straight days alone to get just right. But so far, guys, it's been a good luck charm for the Lynx. They win again tonight. Mark Rosen will have more on that coming up a little bit later in sports. That's great. That thing's crazy. I what know a it big is. big project, John. It really is. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty impressive when you're standing right here. Be careful because in Spider-Man, it came to life and ate the city. <laughs> I know. So I was thinking quickly. about that. Yeah, I Thanks, will. John. Okay, good.